YouTube, what's up? Fragrance Matt here, and welcome to another live stream. Um, obviously, these live streams are recorded so that you guys can go back and watch over them. But uh, and whilst I'm saying all this stuff, there's actually no people in the chat already. So, the whole point is just to wait until some people come in, and then we'll get onto the uh, we'll get onto this live stream. So, as you guys can see by the title of this stream, I'm going to be rev I'm going to be revisiting uh, one of my classic scents from my collection. It's a scent that I haven't really wore in a long time, uh, and it's a great scent. I remember the first time wearing it. I was when I was in America. That's where I purchased it from, and uh, it was. I would say this was one of my best vintage buys. I think because it's a scent that's really like unheard of like, like not a lot of people know what this fragrance is nor do they even know what the company is as well uh victor are a very uh unheard of italian company uh they did a lot of fragrances actually they've, they've released quite a few and i'm just gonna have a quick look at the uh at the uh all of the fragrances they've released so they've released 17 fragrances uh the oldest is from 1946 and uh and the newest is from 2006 so 1946 to 2006 that's pretty cool minister jap hello how are you my friend good morning i'm ready for the review good morning to you too my friend so glad to have you here um so yeah before i go into the review i'm just going to wait until a few more people uh come into the stream thank you so much for whoever liked uh the live stream as well i really appreciate it um i'm not really one for you know chasing likes or anything but likes are very very uh appreciated uh here on youtube you know just 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 goes to show really who's enjoying what really you know so yeah as you guys can see this is wall street uh this is a 1984 release um i remember coming across this years ago on base notes and i remember finding it and i was like wow this fragrance definitely seems awesome like i remember coming across the notes and every single note in this fragrance is uh definitely up my alley so very very excited to uh to bring this one for you guys again usually i don't really do reviews in my live streams but i thought i would do it for this you know this one it's not going to be a long live stream it's just basically a revisiting of a fragrance that i have already reviewed on my channel it was quite a while ago actually when i uh reviewed it as well but uh, i remember when i reviewed it i don't think it was the best review i i, I could have done a lot better basically I, I could i could say that a lot about my old videos but um so yeah uh that's what i'm going to do for you guys now this is wall street so why is it called Wall Street? Well, it's named after the very famous street in New York City, um, the business street of the good old metropolis. Um, banks, businesses, a lot of rich people work in Wall Street. So this is definitely a fragrance that evokes that city life in the 80s, if you like. It, it, at least that's what I get from this from this actual fragrance. It's It falls into a blend. It, it has a blend that's long gone. Like you don't find in, in masculine fragrances and any anymore and yeah it's just a, it's a it's a it's a gem there's, there's no other words i can describe it it's a gem of a fragrance that yeah if they were if if they were to release this fragrance today yeah it just wouldn't it probably wouldn't get the uh, respect it deserves but it's an amazing fragrance that definitely holds that retro classic kind of blend if you guys are really into those sort of fragrances so i would say if you're into fragrances like uh let's see let's get another smell here what can i compare it to well i would say if you're in a quorum if you're into uh if you're in if you're into any other like 80s rugged leathery kind of fragrances with that sort of pine sort of smell then you're really going to like Wall Street. Um, I was quite shocked when I first smelled it, I'll be honest. I remember when I first smelled it for the first time, I was expecting a more sort of... Uh, I was expecting a more similar smell, but this smell is actually very, very uh, unique. And uh, I would say it's more unique than Quorum. I would say it's definitely more, definitely more unique than Dior Jewels. Uh, Stefan, thank you very much for the recommendation. And Halston Z14, yeah. But saying that, yeah, you're right. If if you like those fragrances, then you're really going to love Wall Street. I mean, the bottle itself's 
really, really awesome. I mean, I only own a 50 mil splash, but you can buy spray bottles of this. And you can also find, of course, bigger bottles. But this is a 50 ml splash. We get a very nice V stamped in there for Victor. Uh, we also get 80% Victor. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This is a very cheap sticker, but it's old. I mean, this is a 1984 release. So the sticker seems to have really uh, stuck down there well over time. The only thing I'm not happy with, though, is the fact that it's pretty uneven with the with the V. But that doesn't... I mean, it's not a huge problem. What's more important is the juice inside. So, here we go. As you guys know, I love my splash bottles. There's just something sophisticated when it comes to applying a splash bottle. Like, don't get me wrong, I love a spray. Like, I love a fragrance with a really good spray on it, but... Yeah, when it comes to splash, it's... it's to me, it's more old school and I just like that sort of vibe that it gives off you know so the bottle is a really nice brown color the juice is darker of course you guys probably won't be able to see that too much but uh yeah the bottle is really cool so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to talk about the smell so Wall Street according to Fugranica is an oriental fougere uh I would have to completely disagree with that I don't know where they've getting the oriental fougere from to me this is a woody this is a woody leather fragrance. Like, you can't get more woodier. You, you really can't get more leathery than this either. Although, there's a bit of a, a mossiness in there as well with that leathery aspect. And with the pine on top, really creates this... This sort of nice, green, soapy kind of concoction. It's really different. Really, really different. Uh, of course, there are a lot of soapy fragrances that were released in the 80s. Uh, Sung Hom, Gucci Noble, Pfft, there's so many. I mean, I could go through some all day. But, of course, this one being released from 84, so just behind the mid-80s, uh, really does show those those characteristics with that leather, uh, with that leather blend and that pine blend in there. There is also an oak moss in here as well, which is very, very prevalent. Uh, of course, oak moss, very, very popular in 80s masking fragrances so the oak moss in this is quite fleeting although it's not too strong uh it's a very very nice fragrance in my opinion uh i would say it's actually quite similar to uh chaz by revlon uh which of course is the men's version of charlie uh if you guys have ever smelled that fragrance you'll know what i mean uh it smells very very similar to chaz although this has a more leathery edge to it it smells very deep like it has a deep aromatic smell to it again which is why i don't understand why it's listed as an oriental fougere very very strange it's a beautiful scent though like it has a clean aspect to it as well so like if you can imagine those sort of aftershaves that would make you feel fresh and clean of course this isn't an aftershave but it does have a an aftershave sort of vibe to it again that old school sort of after the shave, mossy barbershop kind of smell. That's what this has. But it's it's more smoother on the leather, so you do get a bit more of a leather smell, which makes it a bit more of a sophisticated scent. Um, I think if you just had, say, pine, juniper, oak moss, cedar, and juniper, uh, sorry, I've said juniper. If you just had, say, the, the cedar and the pine and uh, the oak moss in this fragrance, I don't think you really have much of a... Uh, a unique scent but that leather really makes it different you know really really makes a difference um there are also citruses in this fragrance but in all honesty i don't really get those it's 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 definitely more heavy on the leather and the pine um it's just really really good really really love this scent so let me know guys if you if you guys have tried wall street um if you're into your masculine scents like this is a one you need to go for of course I know a lot of people on my YouTube, in terms of who have subs who are subscribed to me, I know a lot of you aren't going to be into your masculine fragrances. A lot of you are into your up-to-date fragrances and whatnot. So let me know what you guys like that's old and modern. Let me know what kind of fragrances you like, because um, I like anything, as you guys know. I wear vintage, I wear old, old school, I wear new school, I wear... I wear anything, guys. I need, I wear anything that smells good to me. And Wall Street is uh, definitely one of my favorite leather fragrances, no doubt. Uh, bold statement as well, considering, like, fragrances have become more 
well blended now because like if you look at a lot of niche fragrances like you know that the ingredients are very high quality and whatnot however this has high quality oils in it uh no doubt about it it's been made very very well considering the age of it like this is 1984 guys you know what i mean and we're now in 2020 this is very very old stuff and for it to still be in the the condition it is i'm very very happy with that i couldn't be any more happy really with uh with any of my uh, vintage finds because uh you know I, I always like to make sure that i go for you know old fragrances that are in good quality if they're not in the best quality then it doesn't really matter sometimes the wear and tear look adds a bit to that uh you know adds a bit to the what's the word the whole nostalgic look if you like because that's kind of what i'm into i'm a bit of a nostalgic person so when it comes to me wearing fragrances like wall street with this awesome looking box with the sort of like wood panels that you would imagine in a lot of like interior cars from the 1980s you know with the dashboard how you get that sort of like wood and kind of like you know that kind of look that's definitely what i get out of this uh and it's the same with the bottle like it's just an insanely good fragrance um again it's it is a vintage it's classed as a vintage scent uh not a lot of people know about it but you will be able to find a bottle for this on ebay uh, i've seen bottles go for about 30 quid so you really can't go wrong it's like literally the usual price for a designer fragrance anyway so i don't know if you if you're wanting to choose between a new release or an old release and you want to smell something that's right like that smells really good but is old this is a good one to go for i think uh i think if people aren't really into quorum they might like this because this isn't as heavy as quorum although i would say it's better than quorum still i mean that again bold statement considering quorum and even in the vintage formulation is bombastic it's majestic it's very very strong stuff this however is not as strong although i prefer the smell the smell is more well-rounded more green it has a nicer leather note in there as well than than, than what quorum has but again i love quorum and i don't really like to compare fragrances too much but yeah I found the fragrance here better than Quorum. That's just my opinion. So if you guys like vintage fragrances and you want to check out something, again, go for Victor. Uh, Wall Street. It's really, really, really awesome. Uh, definitely reminds you of, of that 80s metropolis life, if you like. Uh, just with the whole name and everything, like Wall Street, you know, Eau de Toilette, Victor. It's it's a really really awesome really awesome juice. So if you guys again are, are into your vintage leather kind of scents, definitely give this one a try. It's really 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 good. So how are you guys doing today? I mean that's not really the end of the review. It kind of is. I'm gonna be talking about the fragrance for a bit anyway throughout this live stream. But let me know how you guys are during this uh, quarantine. Uh, let me know how you guys are um, because the whole point of this live stream again for me is just to pass a bit of time i guess and to see how you guys are doing because uh, i know it's been like just under a week i think since i did last my last video which was hero by uh, prince machabelli which thank you so much guys for for watching that video i uh, really appreciate it uh it's one of my favorite colognes love that stuff really really love that stuff where did i put my tea where did i put my cup of tea Oh, there it is. I don't look very far. So, I have a, uh, I have a, uh, a new fragrance in the mail, actually, which is waiting to arrive, which I'm really excited for. And that's a vintage bottle of uh, denim. If you guys have ever heard denim, it's a, uh, a classic aftershave that was released in the 70s, and it's been out for years. It's still in production. But I've been able to pick up a vintage bottle of it for, like, just under 20 pounds a gift set comes with the talc as well uh so that that's 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 quite uh interesting considering i don't really buy aftershaves considering you know that the the fact that they don't last long and i don't really use aftershaves that much anyway because you know i don't really shave i don't really have the greatest facial hair to begin with so i don't really like shave you know what i mean so in terms of this aftershave however denim uh, it's a really strong aftershave. It actually lasts quite a while on your skin in terms of the smell and uh, and the blend is really nice as well. It's like a classic Italian aftershave. So if you guys have ever heard of denim, give it a chance. Stefan 
they do have an eau de toilette of denim. Yes, they do. Uh, I'm very aware that they do. But uh, the reason why I haven't ever picked up the eau de toilette is because I've heard that the uh, the notes in the eau de toilette are more prevalent than they are in the aftershave, which of course is meant to be anyway, because eau de toilette are stronger formulations. But I've heard that the smell's been ruined uh, in the eau de toilette. And of course, denim started out, I think, as an aftershave. So again, I'm just going for what was original and, you know, what was what originally was. Because denim was an aftershave and they didn't make the eau de toilette, I don't think, until the 80s. So, I mean, I could be completely wrong here. But uh, I've, I've got the aftershave. I've got the new version of the aftershave and it's fantastic. Uh, lasts like an eau de toilette. I have never worn the eau de toilette, so I can't say too much. However... Uh, Joy Armin, who's a great reviewer on, on YouTube, as everybody knows, uh, I do think he has, uh, uh, he has, he's done a video on denim. In fact, he's talked about a few denim fragrances, like, because denim have a few types of scents in their, in their range, like they have a denim black, they have a denim fire, I think, and there's also a denim illusion or something like that. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of different types, but the original denim, the original citrus aromatic from 1976 is the one that I'm waiting for, and uh, I cannot wait for it. Earth Pet, what are some vintage fragrances that you don't like? That's a really good question. In fact, you know what? I've never had that question given to me, so that's a, uh, that's a fantastic question. I would say probably uh, none. <laughs> Absolutely none. I mean, I've never come across a vintage fragrance that smells like it's died or anything or it smells like it's you know it's just lost its its life i haven't come across vintages like that the vintages that i've found are actually in pretty good condition so um and i've been in antique stores in america and i've come across and uh like antique fragrances like really old scents before and i've bought them and i've worn them and uh they're fantastic so i think with vintage fragrances it has nothing to do really with uh, whether or not they're better or not it's simply to do with, like, the ingredients. I mean, of course, vintage fragrances are better, but I think the reason why people buy them is because they they can notice a difference. They can notice that difference in the original formula over the new version. Uh, although I have new formulations of all the fragrances, which I do love, uh, like Quorum and uh, Sung Hom. I mean, these are all new formulations of all the fragrances, which are still fantastic, but um i've never come across one bad vintage scent in my opinion uh i don't know there's probably people out there right now selling uh ysl kuros from 1981 on ebay right now for 500 quid which will probably smell exactly the same as it did when it first came out and that's why people sell it for really expensive prices and it's a shame it is a real shame that they do sell them for expensive prices but if you want to smell Kuros like it did in 1981, you're going to have to pay for what you get. It's it's what it is. It's the same with niche fragrances. You pay for quality. And neat, and vintage fragrances in the designer game, like Kuros, uh, I don't know, Armani Oporum, there's another one, Citrus Aromatic from 1984, is awesome in its vintage formulation. So, I don't know. There's some fragrances out there which are still fantastic in their new formulations, but it really depends on which batch you find and how much like, you know, information you check out and how much you really, what's the word? What am I looking for? Jesus, my words are all wrong right now. And what I'm trying to say is if you can um, educate yourself, that's the word. If you can educate yourself on finding the right bottle of a vintage fragrance, you'll have no problem. It just takes really looking and uh, making sure that no one rips you off basically. I mean, I've never been ripped off, so I don't want to be ripped off. Uh, Wongaloid Wong. <laughs> Hi, greetings from Germany. Greetings from Germany, my friend. What are your thoughts on Amber Absolute by Tom Thor? Love, love, love Amber Absolute. Uh, I think it's a fantastic scent. Um, I remember coming across it on the Tom Ford counter uh, literally not long before the quarantine started. I was in House of Fraser checking out the, uh, the Tom Ford's and uh it's it really is a wonderful fragrance i love it i mean i love amber anyway but tom ford's uh tom ford knew how to make some fantastic scents man 
Doubtful that an 1981 bottle will smell like back in the day after 40 years. Most top notes will be dead. Yeah, that's true, Andre, but it really depends on how well the fragrance has been taken care of. Uh, if you keep a fragrance in darkness for years, for years and years and years, you'll have a fragrance that smells as good as it did. You know when you get a fragrance and it has it has an expiration date on it? Some will say like 26 months, 36 months. Yeah, that's a load of bollocks, guys. Don't even worry about that. I've been buying fragrances for years, right? And the fragrances that I have still smell amazing compared to what they did when I first got them, right? It all depends on how you take care of them, right? The reason they last for 36 months, the reason that says that is because the average fragrance to the average user lasts for about two years. That's what they say. It's got nothing to do with the scent life. It's got nothing to do with the alcohol or the blend or the oils. It's got nothing to do with any of that. It's literally got to do with how long the average person uses up a fragrance, which is two years. I've never used up a fragrance under two years. I've still got a bottle of 1881 Pour Rum that I bought five years ago, still on my shelf, the new formulation, and it's still fantastic. Mind you, I keep it in darkness, but it's still brilliant, so... Indeed, but fragrances that don't have a real cap like Kouros or the Amen line will have issues if not kept in the box. Yeah, Andre, that's actually a very good point, my friend, because um, obviously not all fragrances have that, the sprays, so that does make sense. However, however, I do own a Lapidus Porum vintage edition from 1990, I think, and that has, of course, the self-built-in spray. And uh, it smells really, really good. So again, I don't know. I mean, it's all about uh, it's all about opinions, you know. But again, my Lapidus bottle still smells strong as fuck. Like it, it's so strong. And pardon my language, but that's how legit it is, you know. Like I put it on, it's it gives me that feeling of a powerhouse scent. It smells stronger than the version of today. So I don't know what to say, you know. I mean, it's fantastic. It just depends on how you take care of your fragrances. Hello, Ma greetings from Norway. I have, I have man old Franks from the eighties. No problems regarding smell. Um, again, just depends on how well you take care of your bottles, my friend. You know, if you keep them in darkness, if you keep them out of sunlight, then they're gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine. Centralize, what's up, buddy? How are you? I'm gonna get onto that tag that you uh, tagged me in as well. Um, I got tagged by uh, uh, I got tagged by Centralized to do a four fragrances for life for each season, and uh, I've been thinking about that constantly. And I, you know, that's a really really hard tag, Centralized. You know, you've really busted my balls there, man. <laughs> nah, I love you, man. I love you. Uh, I'm gonna get onto it right away, buddy. Should I get a wine cooler just for niche fragrances? <laughs> You could do. Uh, I've known people keep fragrances in uh, in freezers quite often, so apparently it's really good to do that. I don't, however. I mean, that's just because I don't own niche fragrances, but I wouldn't see the point uh, personally in buying a, a wine cooler. That you could do, but I wouldn't personally. I just think it's, uh, you, you, you know, I just keep them out of sunlight. I mean, as you guys know on my channel, I used to... Uh, put a lamp behind my fragrances and I used to like make like a glow so that way you could see all the light coming through the juices. Yeah, that was bad. I can't I can't believe I used to do that sort of shit. Like I, just for the sort of aesthetic look that I was going for rather than caring about the actual juice themselves. Yeah, I was a fucking idiot when I look back. Absolute idiot. Now I just keep them on my shelf out of sunlight and... And I have noticed a big difference in my fragrances as well. So we've had a message retracted from Andre. I don't know why that is. Someone. Okay, Andre Peter. Lavis Poron makes every other fragrance like that other way. Like they bring knives to confines. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Lavis is one of those fragrances that if you spray it at a, I don't know, for example, a house party or in a changing room at the gym. Yeah, yeah. People are going to notice it. People are going to be like turning heads and be like, what the hell is he wearing? Did I miss Wall Street? No, you didn't, my friend. I've still got Wall Street right here, Centralized. I've just, I've been talking about it a bit, you know, talking about how it's a, a really unheard of scent, how it's, you know, not a lot of people know about it. 
how it's a really good blend, how it's got like nice leather notes, oak moss, pine, and all that in there. So again, masculine fragrance from the 80s, which, as you know, I love. And uh, I've just been talking about it, mate, basically in this in this live stream. I've just been talking about the bottle design. I've been talking about how the way it smells. Whoops. I mean, yeah, it's really, really awesome stuff. I mean, the, the bottle and the box are really works of art. Um, really show that 80s look. Wongoloid Wong. Amber Absolute or Grand Soir? What is more mass appealing? I prefer Am Amber Absolute. Definitely Amber Absolute. I, I mean, Grand Soir is lovely, but I, I just love Amber. So when it comes to Amber, Amber Soir. Uh, sorry, uh, Amber Absolute. Amazing stuff. When did you get it? First time I had heard of it was on Kellen's Love Stream. All right, cool. Um, yeah, um, not a lot of people, again, not a lot of people know about it. So you might you you possibly have seen it on some live streams. Uh, I reviewed this like two years ago. I got it when I was in the states. Uh, I spent like fifteen dollars on it. You know what I mean? Cannot go wrong. It was on eBay. Uh, won it on eBay, so I was really pleased. But yeah, uh, fantastic scent. It's uh, I think you would like it centralized. Actually, I mean, looking at the, the fragrances that you review, this would be a nice little surprise on your channel. Actually. To see to to see you review something like that. I love the fragrances that you review, but if you could review this, mate, I would really appreciate it. I mean, again, you might not be able to find it, but if you can find a bottle, they are fairly cheap, so it's awesome stuff. And I will definitely get back to you on the tag. Herrick, how are you? How's it going? Going all right, my friend. Uh, going real okay. Um, just doing a live stream for for you and all my wonderful subscribers out there. Uh, literally all i'm doing uh, i do a few live streams on my channel uh, i don't have like scheduled dates or anything i just do a live stream whenever i really want to do a live stream that might not be the best for you guys but that is the way it is um if you guys would like me to do more scheduled live streams just uh let me know and i will do at the end of the day youtube is all about making you guys happy and making you guys feel entertained so that's what's more important jim oh how are you doing jim it's been a while man Matt, how are you doing? You turned me on Wall Street three years ago, and I love it. Need another bottle. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, man, I'm really glad you like it. And so good to see you, Jim. Um, obviously, like, you're very, you're like one of my classic subscribers, man. So good to see you. Um, yeah, uh, it, smells, it smells great. And I'm really glad you like it, buddy. Um, I hope you can get another bottle of it, too, because obviously massively discontinued fragrance now i'm i cannot believe it's still actually available though you can actually find it on ebay considering it's from the 80s and i'm surprised it hasn't completely faded into oblivion right now but uh yeah i'm really glad you like it jim it's awesome stuff could you can you think of anything at all jim to compare wall street to i've been thinking of something to compare it to and to me it's a little bit like quorum but it's a bit lighter and it has a bit more of a uh, a breezier pine kind of smell Hello, mom. I'm just doing a live stream. I'm just doing a live stream. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing a live stream. <laughs> it's all right. So my mom's just come home. And that's not the first time that's happened. It's, it's happened a few times where I've had to be like, I'm doing a live stream. Don't disturb me. But uh, yeah, that is my mom, guys. As you guys know, my lovely mom, who's, do, who's done a lot of reviews on my channel. Uh, she'll be back. I would like to, I would like her to be in another review soon. Very much so, because uh, my mom's awesome. And uh, she's actually really good at reviewing fragrances as well. She's she's a good little, uh, she's a good partner to have in videos, you know? Definitely. Also, guys, I've, I've got one thing to ask you. Uh, uh, for the seven of you who are in here right now, I just want to get your opinion on something. Um, have you guys ever heard of an app called Zoom? Uh, it's used to, like talk with people it's a bit like skype but you can use it on youtube and stuff to like talk with other people around the world well i've been thinking about getting it so that i can talk to other fragrance reviewers around the world basically that's something i've always wanted to do like i've never spoken to any other fragrance reviewer in my life apart from off youtube and maybe through like message and stuff i would love to actually converse and talk on camera to somebody else who has the same passion as me who has the same passion as me, you know? That would be awesome. Who makes Wall Street, Matt? Uh, it's made by a company called Victor. 
Victor Centralize. Um, very old school Italian company. They make they've made a lot of old, eau de colognes, um, like green, mossy kind of scents. If you think of like uh, Pinot Silvestre kind of fragrances, they've made a lot of those. Um, but this is their only leather fragrance that they've ever created. Uh, they have a lot of fragrances that, that are green balls, and a lot of those fragrances are like green, piney, like you know, vetiver kind of fragrances, you know, to evoke the outdoors or that eau de cologne freshness, if you like. Uh, this one, however, isn't like that. This one's more deeper. It's a bit more of a an evening leather pine kind of scent. I mean, it still has pine in it, but it's not as green as, say, the other fragrances from Victor. So this one definitely stood out to me in terms of any other company and in terms of any other fragrance in this company, without a doubt. Jamar, you also turned me on to Furio and Witness. Yes. Gotta love those two. I shared decants with Stumptown Smells, OG, and is ordering bottles of all three. Furio is nuclear. Wall Street smells like the film. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm so glad you mentioned those two, Jim. Uh, Furio and Witness, because Witness is another fragrance that I would kind of compare to this, kind of. I mean, Witness has a bit more of a cinnamon smell, but this one is... Uh, this one is a little bit like it in terms of the theme, if you like, the whole sort of brown, rugged theme that the bottle goes for. Witness has that same kind of thing going for it. And I guess you could say the same for Furio in a way as well with the grey box that Furio has. But yeah, Furio is a fucking beast of a fragrance. Like, if you, th if you guys think Kuros is strong, get your hands on Furio. You'll be fucking surprised. Uh... Yeah, every corporation uses it today. Oh, okay. Thanks, uh, thanks for that, buddy. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate that. I've been thinking about using that app, you know, just so I can talk to people and whatnot. I think it would be really good. Jim, uh, also, get your mitts on Balenciaga Whole Hang Club while they're still cheap. Awesome, old-school OG scent without feeling dated. Oh, that sounds nice. I mean, of course, I've heard of Whole Hang Club, and uh, a lot of friends of mine own a bottle of it. Like, Mr. Matt C has a bottle of it. Um... And obviously, you must have a bottle of it as well. Do you really enjoy it, Jim? Uh, would you recommend it a lot to me? Because obviously, I mean, you obviously are recommend recommending it. You obviously are recommending it to me, but would you rate it highly for me to get a bottle of that? Because again, I only like vintage fragrances if they have something rememberable about them. You know, a blend that's special. I really want a good pine balls. Um, fur fragrance and I'm thinking Kenzo Hom and it's also a green aquatic good for summer and it's very masculine yeah Kenzo Kenzo uh, Hom is a fantastic scent it's a great uh, old school aquatic uh, it's, because of that pine and that uh, that balsam fur kind of smell it's a little it reminds me a little bit of uh, Horizon by Gila Roche uh, it's a little bit like that uh, with the whole pine aspects and the whole mineral sea mineral kind of smell that it has a little bit like that. Yeah, I would highly recommend you get out, you check out Kenzo Home. I think you'll be really surprised. I think you'll be, uh, I think you'll be blown away, Andre. It's a great scent. Absolutely recommend Hohan Club. Stumptown Smells. Thomas reviewed it recently. It tickles my fancy for sure. Ooh. Awesome. I'm going to have to get a bottle now. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm, I'm curious. Good old eBay. Can't go wrong with eBay. Sorry, guys. I'm dropping everything over here. So I'm just going to put my, my bottle of Wall Street down for now. I'm just smelling it on my hand. It smells really good. It's drying down to a more woody kind of smell now. Um, which is so nice. Balenciaga. Ho Hang. Club. Wow, it is cheap. Very, very cheap. There's a bid there for a uh, 100 Eau de Toilette Splash Vintage, 100 mil, going for 25 pound. Really good. But there, you're right. There are cheap bottles for this, even if they are in, like, 25 ml bottles. Like, that's still pretty good. Ah, uh, some of them are a bit high. Not too bad. I suppose you can't go wrong with a price like that. I mean, that's pretty good. I've just found an original... Uh, Balenciaga Ho Hang Club, uh, Ho Hang, the original Ho Hang for uh, thirty-two pound. That's pretty good. Bloody 
Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, again, I will end up probably getting the ball of that. So thanks for that, Jim. I appreciate that, my friend. Uh, I'll be checking that out before long. Andre, I'm also thinking Karen Yatagan for Fall and Winter. It also has pine, but it's animalic. A little afraid to get it as I can't sample it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Andre, if you're looking for a good Caron fragrance for Winter, I would check out Lenarchist. Uh, Caron's Lenarchist is awesome stuff. Really overlooked. Um, it's a really overlooked cinnamon scent, in my opinion. It's a cinnamon scent, but has mint in there as well, and it also has some nice woods in there. So it's a nice refreshing festive scent there's no other word for me to describe it it's the word refreshing and festive don't necessarily go together but unless you smell the narcus you'll know what i mean it smells very very unique very good stuff just testers they must have minted a million of them prior to being discontinued yeah 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 that'll be it jim that'll be it david torres what's up my friend good to see you I was live from California. I believe that's where you're from, California. Yeah, it's available in, in their new bottles that look the same. No more tin-like bottle. Oh, that's a shame. Because I own the tin bottle and it's awesome. But if you can get Lenarchis in the original just black in the original glass bottle that looks a lot like a lot of other Karen's fragrances, just get it. I think you'll be surprised. I don't think there's much change in the uh in the formulation. I think a lot of people just go for the uh, the original because the bottle's awesome, uh, which is what I did. I just got it because of the bottle. The tin, like, gravestone bottle. It's so cool. It's so cool. Yeah, it's available in the new... Oh, yeah, I've just read that comment. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. But, yeah, Andre, don't give up, my friend. If you're looking for a really good uh, winter scent, I would definitely go for Lenarchist, um, even if it's in its new... Even if it's in its new uh, package, it'll still be good. Be really good. My tea's starting to go cold. Ugh. Don't you hear that? So yeah, guys, uh, this has pretty much been my live stream. Um, I've just been talking about Wall Street. Um, I'm going to be wearing this today, so I'm, I'm actually going to apply it right now. Fuck it. Am I wearing anything? No. Okay, here goes. Oh, God, this smells so damn nice. Wow, it smells like if you would open, like, a, a cabinet. And then inside the cabinet, all you have is all of these, like, really fancy bottles of wine, scotch, brandies, cigars in there as well. Like, I can literally imagine somebody like Colonel Mustard wearing this. <laughs> Like, it gives me that sort of theme. I'm pretty sure I said this in the review as well. It reminds me of being in, like, a a big mansion room filled with, like, books on the shelves and, like, cigar tables when people can sit down, enjoy cigar, play games of cards and whatnot. That's definitely the theme that I get out of this. It's unreal. <sighs> Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. So, guys, Fragrance Matt, which is my name, uh, if you guys... Are looking for a good fragrance that fragrance map would highly recommend to you it would be this it's incredible really really good stuff i wish that i could hang out but i have to finish installing our patio stone pavers and apply a second coat of stain to our pergola cedar lumber that we that we're erecting on saturday i'm tired cheers oh no worries jim um Thank you so much anyway for dropping by, buddy. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope you get it all done. Anarchy is in, is in the new bottle, 125 mil. It's 45 from discount as well. The old bottle is 137 on eBay. Fucking hell. 137 for the old bottle. Jesus. Even I didn't pay that much for it. Yeah, that's that's insulting. I wouldn't even bother. Like, for somebody... Like, I've got a bottle of the origi original and the Anarchy's. No way! Would that sell for a hundred and odd quid? That's insulting. That is insulting to a buyer. I would go for the 45 quid one, mate. I don't think you'll find the difference. Promise. 
Stella, good to see you live again, mate. I'm wearing all fact of studio close up today. Sweet like spicy cherry tobacco, tonka, amber, or oh. anything with amber, tonka, tobacco, anything with like that, you know you're gonna get a good blend. Really good to see you, by the way, Ryan. Yeah, Euros in France. Okay, Euros. Okay. Still though, 137 Euros for fragrance. Like that? Lenarchist? Ah, that's ridiculous. Nice though, Ryan. That sounds like a really good scent. Olfactive Studio. I've actually never checked out any of their fragrances. Again, they're a niche brand, so I just haven't checked them out, you know. But I've heard they have some fantastic scents. Like really good fragrances. I'm gonna have a quick look actually. Olfactive Studios. Which one was it again? The one that I liked. What? Are Olfactive Studios not even on... Uh... They're not even on Fagranica. Unless they are, and I just haven't... Uh... Done it right. Ol Olfactive Studio. Okay, so they are on Fagranica. I'm just a fucking idiot. Sorry about that, guys. Um... I'm trying to remember which one it was that I checked out. I think it might have been Ombre Indigo or Still Life. Still Life and Still Life in Rio. Those are the two fragrances by Olfactive Studio that I've checked out. And uh, I was amazed by them. Literally amazed by the quality and the smell. Uh, fantastic. Literally fantastic. It's my favorite from the house. Love my sweet gourmands. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. And what's it called again? Uh, close up. Close up, yeah? There it is. Yeah, very intriguing. Uh, very intriguing, Ryan, considering it's a gourmand, but the bottle is blue. That's, uh, that's really cool. Oh my god, the notes! The notes sound amazing! Cherry, white tobacco, tonka, coffee, spices, amber, patchouli, Musk, Atlas Cedar, and Rose. Oh my god, that sounds fucking amazing. And it gets compared to Call at Night by Adar Collection as well. I've never actually uh, checked that out. Wouldn't know anything about it, but... Wow, it sounds amazing. It sounds really, really good, man. Mm, it sounds really good. Again, I love finding about new, about new fragrances and uh, Olfactive Studio, or one of those companies that I forgot about. I forgot about, because I found them in uh, Heathrow Airport. When I was in Heathrow, I found them in in one of the stores. Like, I don't know if it was Harrods or anything or anything like that, but I found Olfactive Studio, like a, a booth, you know, and I was checking a lot of them out and I was just amazed. I couldn't believe the quality of these fragrances. And I'm annoyed because I've literally forgot about that day that I checked them all out. And I wish I hadn't. But uh, yeah, thanks Ryan for, for reminding me, my friend. Chambray Noir is nice too, but doesn't last long on me. Oh yeah. Well, I'm looking at Auto Portrait at the minute. This has some nice notes in it as well. It has some Elmi Resin, Virginia Cedar, Vetiver, Incense, Benzoin. That sounds good. The Auto Portrait, that sounds really nice. Gets compared to Carbone de Balmain, which I've actually never smelled Carbone. But yeah, um, as you guys know, I love anything fragrance related. So uh, you guys will be expecting some new fragrance fragrance related content soon. Uh, I'm going to be doing a new review probably tomorrow. Um, I've got some plans today, which is why I'm not doing one today, which is why I wanted to do the whole live stream for you. So I'll be bringing you guys a new review tomorrow. Uh it's a, for a fragrance that I'm really excited about, and I'm, I've been wearing it so much recently. Um, so I'll be bringing you guys that review tomorrow. Uh, really excited for it. Thank you so much, Centralize. I appreciate it. Stay tuned, my friend. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Centralize as well, um, please, uh, please follow him. He's amazing. Sorry, I got a message on my phone. I got a bit distracted there. Uh, yeah, please check out Centralize. He's an awesome guy, awesome reviewer, fellow Englishman. Uh, yeah, fantastic guy. So 
check them out. It goes for um, it goes for anybody really who who is a fragrance related maniac who comes into my channels. I'll always shout out. I'll always give you a shout out because uh, you're worth it. You know, you are worth it. You do something that I love to do, which is review fragrances, so you automatically get my respect. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, sounds good. Dr. Salto, how are you doing? How are you doing, my friend? Oh, we've got a few messages here. Nice, have you been getting out walks and much or anything with this lockdown? Yeah, I've uh, I've been getting out. You know, I've been I've been going for walks and whatnot, and I've been doing what I have to do, you know, to, to keep my head right. But uh yeah, I've been I've been alright, I guess. Best I can be. We are all maniacs. <laughs> Fronto Vicky, Matt, have you tried opium vintage 80s? Do you like any fragrances oriented towards women? See you. Yeah, man, I love some female blends. Uh love opium. I love poison. Uh Cinnabar. Yeah, uh, by Estee Lauder. I love anything like that, man. And uh, opium is awesome. I actually own a fragrance similar to opium by Yves Rocher called 80 Jo, which is a uh, a beautiful honeyed cinnamon ylang ylang sort of scent. It's really beautiful. Glad to see you back, my friend. Same to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Salto. I appreciate that. Waiting on my Eau Sauvage Parfum due tomorrow. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, I love Sauvage. I didn't like it when I first tried it. I wasn't keen on the blend. It must have been the, the Ambroxan introduction for me because it was the first time I'd ever smelled Ambroxan. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I love it now. <laughs> Just one of those blends that I've, you know, really needed to practice on my nose. You wouldn't know this, but you have greatly influenced one's fragrance journey. Oh, fantastic, Dr. S Dr. Salto. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. It's always good to have influences. I mean, even I've got influences in the fragrance game, you know. For me to do what I have to do and show my face in front of a camera, you know, you have to think of people who have done this sort of stuff. Then that gives you that sort of power to do it, you know. Thank you so much, though. Like, that really, that's really cool. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's cool. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this live stream. Um... Yeah, it was just a little live stream just to talk about whatnot and to also revisit Victor, Wall Street. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing very, very well today. Keep smelling good and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much and keep smelling good. I know I've already smelled. I already said that, but whatever. Stay safe, guys, and uh, I will see you all uh, in the next video. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>